In the eighth segment of the overview tutorial, we shall discuss a couple of the tools located in the relative transformations palette, which is in the 13th row. The first tool, which is the attach tool, is used to attach an entity to another entity. There are three variations of the attach operation that are selected from the attach options dialog. We will look at only two examples. We begin by using the default settings. Now create a box and a pyramid, which is a converged rectangle. If we want to attach the pyramid to the box, we can use a face-to-face -face object attachment. Set topological level to face, and with the attach tool selected, click on two edges on the bottom of the pyramid, then click on two edges on the top of the box. The pyramid is attached to the box by attaching the bottom face of the pyramid to the top face of the box. Undo the operation and try attaching the pyramid to the side face. We do this by selecting the bottom face of the pyramid, then selecting the side face of the box. A second example of the attach tool would be to attach and scale parts of objects to other objects. Create two boxes, roughly like this. In the Attach Options dialog, select All Points in the Face column. With the Attach tool, select the bottom face of the thinner box and then the top face of the cube. Here is the result. You can actually attach a partially scaled box to all the faces of the cube. In the dialog, select Selected Face to All Faces and repeat the attach operation as before. Observe the result. For a third attach example, we shall generate a pattern of hexagons. We will operate in top view from the view menu and draw two 2D hexagons of the same size. Set the topological level to segment and the self copy modifier to copy. Be sure the entire object is selected in the tool options palette. With the attach tool active, by picking the segments we show here, attach copies of the hexagon to itself. Note where we click when picking, assuming the direction of these hexagons is clockwise. We pick the first segment by clicking closer to its first point, and for the second segment, we click closer to the second point of the segment. If we pick otherwise, the hexagon may be placed on top of another one rather than next to it. Executed properly, you can generate a pattern similar to the one we show here. The third tool in the palette is the Extend tool, and it is used to extend segments to surfaces or another segment. We begin this example by creating two objects as follows. Switch the ZX plane and use the Vector Line tool to extrude a three-sided polygon. Switch the YZ plane and create another three-sided extrusion a little smaller than the first. These could be roofs. With the Extend tool selected, click on the top segment of the smaller object and then click on the face of the larger object. Observe that the segment extends until it intersects the face. Repeat the same operation to extend the other two segments to the face. There are many other ways to extend objects that are beyond the scope of this tutorial. Be sure to check the manual for additional Extend tool capabilities. This concludes the eighth segment of the overview tutorial.